What's up guys, Landon Bryan with Generation Ballers here. Be sure to like this video and check out our channel for more free training content weekly. We're ready to help take your game to the next level. Up first, we're going to start with some warm-up baseline jumpers. For this drill, you will go corner to corner shooting mid-range baseline jumpers until you make 10 shots. If you find yourself making more on one side than the other, take note of this and focus on hitting more from that weak side next time you get out there. Second, we have a side shuffle dribble. For these, you will start in the corner and take one dribble and shuffle to your right. You will make a shot at each of the five primary spots before coming back the opposite way for a total of 10 shots made. This drill is your last warm up drill to develop a rhythm, so if you don't like the shots that you've taken so far, do another round of this drill. Next, you will start at half court and dribble down to the wing. Once you are there, execute a between the legs crossover heading towards the baseline. With no more dribbles, use your inside foot for a mid-range jump shot. Make 5 on each wing for a total of 10 shots. Fourth, we have a stationary between the legs behind the back jumper. For this drill, you will use the same 5 primary spots as before, and this time execute a between the legs behind the back move into a pull up. Make one jumper with each hand, and before you move to your next spot, perform the same move and make a layup. You will do this at each spot for a total of 10 jump shots and 5 layups. Next, we have free throw jumpers. As a guard and wing, you have to be able to cut around the court for open jumpers, and the free throw line jumper can become a lethal part of your game as well. Start on the wing and toss the ball to yourself around the free throw line for a catch and shoot jumper. Make five going each way and focus on stepping off of your inside foot for a quicker release. For your sixth drill, you will start somewhere around the arc and perform a one dribble snatchback. Take one dribble and then bring the ball back to you with a reverse under the leg snatchback. Make five mid-range shots going left and five going right. There are no specific spots for this drill, but make sure to be continuously moving. Your last drill will be as easy or as difficult as you make it. The way this free throw game works is that you must score 5 points. A make counts as plus 1 and a miss counts as minus 1. In order to become a good free throw shooter, you have to hit free throws when you are tired and you have to hit them at a consistent clip. If you find this game to be fairly easy, you can advance this by making swishes count as plus 1, made shots that hit the rim as 0, and misses as minus 2. Once you have finished this, you have completed your mid-range scoring workout. When the mid-range shot is open, you have to be able to make it. So by doing these drills, you'll be able to consistently hit mid-range jumpers at a high clip. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. We're training the next generation of ballers, and we're ready to help take your game to the next level.